He comes there and picks us up. Uh, he works with us. And sometimes our bodies, uh, you know, the older you get, the bodies start to act funny. But God starts to work him and he'll heal the knee. He'll heal the neck. He'll heal the bone. He'll heal the shoulder. Showing you that I love you still. I'm with you. I'm with you every step of the way. That's all you to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant to us that we, take note, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might do what? Serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Would you look at somebody and say, this is the will of God for you. So God wants to free us and God will free someone today of fear. Well, fear, the fear that it's paralyzing, the fear that is crippling, the fear that is uh, oppressive must leave. God doesn't want us to have that. And we go on, I'm going to take you a little further to the book of Romans. You go chapter 8. He says here in verse 14, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry of a father. The Spirit itself, or himself, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children then, heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So notice he's talking about sons of God, which brings a sense of security right in the midst of saying God didn't give us a spirit of fear. The idea of sonship is to bring a sense of peace and security and harmony with our God. Are you with me? And so God, that's what he desires now that we have. That sense of security and peace. We belong to God. God was pleased to give us his spirit, the spirit of his son. And since he was pleased to give us the spirit of his son, he's pleased with us. He has to be pleased, otherwise he would not have given us of his spirit. But it is a fact that sometimes we go along not operating as sons, but operating as slaves. Isn't that right? The difference in a son and a slave, the son has a sense of security and confidence, and the slave constantly lives in fear and uncertainty. 
because he knows not the mind of his master. But the Bible says we have the mind of Christ that we might know the things that are freely given us of God. God is with us. The man of God came by before Corona got his worse, and God says, I know the plans that I have for you to do you good, to prosper you. Isn't that right? God's not short-sighted. God is, God is, God is, God says what he says, and God's plans are better than the plans of a city. They go 15, sometimes 20 years in their planning, but God's plan is for a lifetime. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, I know the plans that I have for you to do you good, to prosper you. Thank you, Lord. And when anything comes to intimidate you and I, making us feel that God's plan has changed, then we remind him, That God's plans for me has not changed. It's still to do me good. Hallelujah. And to prosper my life. John said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper. Be in health even as your soul prosper. Hallelujah. God has not given us that spirit of fear. Paul told Timothy, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It is quite understandable to get into situations sometimes that make us afraid, but we cannot stay there. We must rise up from those things, not be afraid. God began to remind me of things that he wants to do today and heal in areas such as these that I'll mention. And he mentioned that one cause of fear is growing up in an environment where there's arguments, fussing and fighting and feuding all the time. When a person grows up in that atmosphere, a child grows up in that atmosphere and they will have fears. Insecurities. Why? Because if you see two people arguing, two loved ones arguing, and a little child, it can just make them so uncomfortable. I remember my own daughter Jessica at the, when she was a couple of years old. They, we took her to have a, a shot, some kind of shot. I forgot what it was before she started school, and she started early and. Um, so the lady, you know, got grabbed her arm and she began to prepare her and then she stuck the needle in her and um, so she slightly jumped a little bit. That was it. So the lady said, I can tell she came from a peaceful home. This was the nurse. But when a child grows up in a home that's Violence, cursing, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Then it creates fear in the child's life and insecurity. And so some fears may be there for a long, long time. But the good news is this. God can heal even that. Hallelujah. God can heal even that. And I believe God wants to do just that. He's a master at what he does. He's a genius. Hallelujah. He knows everything there is to know about everything. Hallelujah. And every word that he speaks is loaded with life and power and knowledge and truth and certainty that cannot be disputed. Oh, somebody ought to give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is a good God, and he cares for us. So someone can look out and say, I'm ready and a candidate for that healing from that fear. 
Then he mentioned there are people that may be listening to us by way of TV that are afraid of dying. Christians, I'm not talking about people that are not saved, but Christians that are afraid of dying. God wants to heal that fear. The Bible says in Hebrews that he delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Fear brings bondage, right? God will heal from fear. Some fears are very oppressive because they literally cripple or paralyze a person. And I'm so glad that Jesus cares. And I tell you about the fear of water that I had for years as an adult, even started pastoring, and I had to come from Newport News over this side and drive, drive into the water. And it just, uh, it just it was something that Satan was really trying to use to make me afraid that something would happen. But I kept standing on the word, standing on the word, speaking the word. And uh, one day I drove across the bridge. There was absolutely no fear. I don't remember when it left, but all I know is it left. And I give God the praise. Hallelujah. I give him the praise. God has different ways. He may heal by your standing on the word or my standing on the word, or he may heal in the service here today. He may heal when you're lying on your bed. He may give you a vision or a dream. God is limitless in his possibilities. But the bottom line is this. God will heal us from the fears. Hallelujah. Fear gets in the way of our commitment to God. Then he also mentions that some have patterns of defeat or failure or negative things happening to them. It's like patterns. It's like they can be assured that this will happen. Looks like every time they try to get on their feet, it's like this happens. God want to break those patterns. They want to break those patterns. Uh, hallelujah. I hope you're listening. Cause that's what God gave me while I was praying. I say, hallelujah. If you're a person, uh, patterns like I'm saying, let's say a person uh, may have a bad happening of being fired on a job. And they work a little while and it just happens. It just inevitably, it just happens. They get fired, and they can try to be nice and do everything they can, but it just happens. And then, so they get to a place, because it's happened so many times, they work and they're afraid, and then sure enough, it happens. But if you're listening to me today by web TV, I want you to know that God want to break that from your life. You don't have to live that way. Jesus came. Hallelujah, to set you free. And he will do it for you. Glory to God. And then the final category he mentioned to me for now was um, some fears are generational. Those fears were in mama and dad. Those fears were in granddaddy, grandmother. And so it just passed on down. But God is able to break the curse of generation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm giving you exactly what he gave me. I don't have a lot to tell you otherwise. I'm only an instrument. God wants to heal. If you're there, here today, and you're struggling with fear, open your heart wide. And says, God is me. 
standing in need of wholeness and watch and see what God will do. God is faithful. God is faithful. You don't have to fear. And then John, as John was telling them, what he was pointing out is this. The spirit of love that we have received from God, the spirit himself, there's no fear in him. God doesn't have fear. And as we have God's spirit and God perfects that love in us because the love don't always have the right of way in our lives. You, you know what I'm saying? It can be there, but it don't always have the right of way because sometimes we won't let him have his way. Isn't that right? But that love is designed to bring us to the perfection or the maturity of, uh, of the kind of love that flows from his spirit. Spirit. And there's absolutely no fear in that love. And so at the more he uh, uh, secures us in that love, and one of the things he does to secure us is he impart that healing love to us. And, you know, sometimes we may have been afraid because we've never been truly loved. But God is love. And the first thing that he want to do is love on us. He want to tell you, you're all right. I don't care what father said or mama said. I'm telling you, you're all right. And I'm going to make it right with you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he pours that divine love. Oh, my God. No love in the world like it. No mortal flesh can give that kind of love. It goes to the deepest crevices of our soul, that love, and it, it, it registers that you're okay. It registers that I love you. It registers so deep in your soul until it makes you secure in him to know that God is not out to hurt you. God's out to do you good. Isn't that right? But it's that love. It is that love poured in our soul that makes us know God loves me. He loves me. And so when I go through storms, when I go through trials, when I go through rejection, when I go through things that are unpleasant, I never have to question, is love. Are you with me? Because I'm made secure in that love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So God works with us and works on us when we're down and out, when feeling down, trotter, and when we feel like giving up, he comes there and picks us up. Uh, he works with us, and sometimes our bodies, uh, you know, the older you get, the bodies start to act funny, but God starts to work, him and he'll heal the knee, he'll heal the neck, he'll heal the bone, he'll heal the shoulder, showing you that I love you still. I'm with you. I'm with you every step of the way. And he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. And he's confirming and reassuring us that he's a God of love. And you can trust him with your life. Hallelujah. 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 He's a great God. He's a great Savior. And when all forsake you, he'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there for you. Hallelujah. You get in trouble. You put yourself in it. You cry unto him. And he'll bring you out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he's constantly proving his love and showing you that he can be trusted. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Because he wants us now to be able to dispense. That divine love after we have been loved. Somebody said, God, do you love me? And God says, look at the cross and you make the decision. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He hung there to an open shame. Drove nails in his hands and feet, 
crown of thorns on his head. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, but he did because he knew one day you and I, hallelujah, would be saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He loves us. He loves us. And, and people persecute us, but he'll let them go so far. And then he'll put a stop to it. He'll raise up his voice and says, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. God is a good God, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can trust him. You can trust him with your life. Um, and then when people do you wrong after he's proven his love to you, he said, let him go ahead and I pray for him. Amen. I pray for him. I ain't got to worry about it. I put him in God's hand. God take care of him, right? I trust him with my life. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him some praise in the house. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's deserving of praise. He's deserving of praise. Ah, glory to God. He said there's no fear in love. Who glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, when I'm secure in his love. Everything works out all right. My God. Hallelujah. And you can know that it's just a matter of time when you go through a test. It's just a matter of time when the Lord is going to come through for you. There ain't no devil in hell is going to stop you. Because God is who he say he is. My God, hallelujah. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. I love him today. He's done me nothing but good. Somebody say you, but you, 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 you lost your wife. How can you say that? I did. He healed me and gave me another one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. He's a good Savior. He's a good Savior. And he does us nothing but good. So we want to trust him now with our lives. If he say love your brother, love your sister, go on and love him, you know. Go on and love him. Hallelujah. Don't struggle with it. Go on and love him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. <laughs> Have you considered his track record? Have you considered his track record? My God, God is faithful. That promised hallelujah. He's a good savior. And I bless him today. Oh my God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You know, I, I normally don't do this. Until, why, until I'm, I'm, I'm out preaching somewhere and I allow the prophetic to, to, to go on and have his way while I'm preaching. But I, I kind of feel that thing today. You know, I, I just, uh, hallelujah. And I want you, to, Denise, to lift your hands. God, I, I hear the Holy Spirit. I, I, God's going to vindicate you. God's going to vindicate you. <laughs> Glory to God. Randa karobo shaba. Yilabaha rumba. Ayalabosa. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, somebody help me praise him. He's in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Ah, uh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Harobo Shanda. Bless the Lord, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I wonder if you can stand with me. Let's bless the Lord a little bit. He's a good Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah, Yalabu Sanda. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your kindness, Lord. Glory, glory, glory to God. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, my soul. I magnify him. There's a song that rings in my heart. And I, you know, I, I, I say, you, you know, let me just step into what he wants me to do. And just, hallelujah. <laughs> Songwriter George, give me. This, this song says, trouble in my way. Trouble. I have to cry sometimes. My way, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. Lay awake at night. But that's alright. That's alright. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will, will fix it. it by and by. By and by. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Oh, yeah. Trouble. Trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's alright. That's alright. I know Jesus He will fix it after a while. Somebody ought to praise him in the house. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Glory to God. Oh, yes, Lord. 